Smith, probably best known as a pioneer rapper with Run DMC. First solo CD, Distortion, came out this very day. He has a new reality show on MTV Thursday nights called Run's House. It features his life with his wife and five kids. Please welcome Rev Run, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, thanks for coming. That's cool. I play and walk this way. That's cool. There you go. <laughs> now, you're from Queens, right? Yep. Okay. Hollis, Queens. Okay. Because I, you know, I kind of know about you, but I sort of know the myth. And I know, like, what did your folks do? Your folks were what? Uh, my father, he was an attendance officer. My mother worked in uh, park departments in Queens and oh, okay. um, kind of kept law and order together. Okay. And, and of course, you got your brothers. Oh, Russell. Russell. A lot of people don't know Russell Simmons is my brother, right. entrepreneur, fat farm, um, right, right, deaf right. comedy, deaf poetry. Yeah, that. yeah, that's all very cool. Now, do you guys ever act out as kids? Were you, were you troublesome kids? Were you... Well, I, w I was always looking up to him. I remember him trying to pull me into the water at the beach. And yeah. I, was, I remember them laughing at me. I was like, oh, I'm too young to die. And they was just trying to... You know, <laughs> oh, really? The water? To... Yeah, I was, you know, I was scared of the water, and he was trying to pull me out there. Yeah. And um, I probably was about five or six years old, and I just remember screaming that, and everybody thinking that was so funny, but I was serious. Yeah. yeah <laughs> well, there you go. Now, how do you go from rapper to reverend? How does... Because you are a reverend, right? I yeah, mean, yeah, you... yeah, I can marry you or bury you. No marry you or bury you? Well, that's yeah, good either, to know. Yeah, yeah. Okay. either one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I was really just trying to get my life in order. I was just yeah. going to church, and um, I churched it so well that this thing just got wrapped around my neck. You know, yeah. in the Pentecostal church, you go, you get a position. I was yeah. an usher first, and then I was a deacon and a walking deacon, and next thing you know, I just, yeah. I was a very intense person. I just want the biggest Bible I could find. I didn't want to miss any of the scriptures. So, see, so I'd sit up front with this huge Bible. <laughs> Right. So they said, this guy is serious, and I ended up being a reverend. Well, see, because when I think of rappers, especially Run DMC in the early, you know, I'm thinking like, and, and misconception, right. you know, thugs and, and that right. kind of thing, but well, it's not that way at all, is it? Well, um, Run DMC, we had, a, we had a good rap. Nobody's yeah. talked too much about us, but um, next thing you know, I, I, I was, as I was out there, I just felt like I needed a change. I was empty. We had hit the top, so right. I was empty, and I was like, isn't there more than just getting more? Right. So I just started going to church because I wanted to bring order to my life. And that's what my show's about on right. MTV. It's all about um, just showing another side of rap. You know, because right. on reality shows, they got, you know, the husband hitting the wife with a vodka bottle over the head right. or, you know, midgets peeing in the corner. This is a functional type. You know, I, I, I think I missed that show with the midgets peeing no, in yeah, the corner. No, yeah, you see <laughs> on Surreal Life, Vern, he was no, peeing. Okay. Check that one out. No. <laughs> but that's not my show. I'm no. a rapper that became a reverend. Oh, it's kind of... Okay. 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 So how do you how do you do you preach the sort of words of wisdom? Tell um, how do you do I, I have words of wisdom that I do in the morning. I right. do it from my tub, and um, in the bathtub. Yeah, I send you out write. words of wisdom to people like Serena Williams, Kid Rock, a bunch of people. I just send them out from my BlackBerry. Okay. So you're, you sit in the bathtub. Sit in the bathtub. Can't you get electrocuted? Maybe I'm. It's a it oh, has a little battery. It's oh, very battery. I see. not All that. Right. <laughs> so, like, like, what are the words of wisdom you would send out? Like, um, okay, stuff like if you take shortcuts, you get cut short. Just little things to get people through the morning. They, I get okay. a lot of responses. Oh, thank you. You helped me this morning. Okay. okay. Now, y your reality show, it's shot in your actual house. Yep. Is this like an Osborne thing where you have cameras no, in every no, corner? No. It's like if I'm upset with my son or something, they say, be upset at 2 o'clock on Wednesday. So, you know, <laughs> it's kind of like we have cameras on sticks, and if I have an issue, they're like, okay, you have an issue. Not today. Don't have yeah. an issue yet. Have an issue when the cameras are set up and all the lighting's okay. together. So okay. that's... Now, is it strange growing up? Because like you said, your folks worked for the Parks Department mm, and, yeah. and what? Now you would be what? Middle class kids? Lower middle yeah, class kids? Yeah, something okay. like that, yeah. So your kids are rich. No, I'm rich. Oh. Right. <laughs> <laughs> They've got to work. Well, but today, I mean, do you... Does daddy pull the hole? When I was your age, we had to... I mean, no, I, I, my house is run by a point system. If you yeah. do good, you get good. My um, daughter actually got straight A's. Yeah. She got 100 in Shakespeare. So I, um, I gave her a Mercedes Benz, but that was to show... Yeah. Now, how old is she? No, it was a small Mercedes, but she oh. was happy. Oh, the little Mercedes. The little, the little, see, the one that could see. fit her. But she got all A's, so, you know, I got to go out and get the money, and kids got to go out and get the grades. I see. So you want to show so that you, to America okay. that... Now, a, you know, now, were you hoping maybe she'd get, like, a couple of Ds so you could get a Hyundai instead or something? No, like I, was, <laughs> no I was hoping that she maybe could do Kia well. Maybe a if she flew. I wanted to show the rest of the kids that they can end up in a Hyundai or they can end up in a Benz, and I wanted to show that to all of America, okay. that all there's right. a, a reward system for doing well. Yeah, but how about just the reward for itself of doing well? I mean, well, do no. you instill in them that, like, oh, you know, if you do something, you got to get a Mercedes? Because you don't always get a Mercedes. But, you know, when you got um, entertainers with 
kids, sometimes they just give them stuff. Yeah. I just want to show the world that let them do something positive to okay. get something good. And I thought that that would be a great lesson. Because you had an episode last week with the party. That's what happened. Explain to people what happened. You got um, a little out of hand. At the party, um, she wanted to get, you know, big fireworks like Puff Daddy and all this other stuff. And they had a guy named Harve Pierre or something to put up the lights. And I was like, I'm not doing that. Yeah. I almost fell in the pool, actually, when they was trying to tell me all these prices. How much was the party going to cost? Thousands. I, I cut it short. Yeah. Okay, so what, it's just... A little bit of money. It didn't little, cost a lot. Didn't cost a lot. But oh, she right. thought that, oh, daddy, oh, you know, but at the end she got the big surprise. And they yeah, were like, okay. ooh, well, it? Okay, now next episode coming up, you're telling your son about the birds and the bees? Is that what that is? Um, yeah, I'm telling How old all of my sons. I have three sons, yeah, okay. nine, ten, and sixteen. I was just, my wife kind of said, you know, I want you to teach them about that. And then she left me sitting there with the bag yeah. trying to teach that lesson to okay. young boys. And I'm like, um... Mommy told me to tell you about... <laughs> so I said, when she gets back, tell her I did good. Yeah, it was yeah. very important. So. <laughs> but that's about it. That's about I told him yeah. that, you know, I said um, at the end, I will show you by the way you do what daddy do. And then and learn how to treat ladies that way because I could not explain to them yeah. okay. the birds. I'm not good at that. Well, we'll check it out this week on MTV. And this is a new uh, CD, Distortion. Distortion, out, Came today. out today. Thank you, Reverend. Oh, good to see you. Be right back with the Music of Institute with Gavin Roscoe right after this.